everyone, Vet here, and welcome back to part two of the Mirror HQ build from Among Us in Minecraft. So far in part one, we have gotten done with Launchpad, Hallway 1, Hallway 2, Med Bay, and Communications. Now for part two, I'm hoping we get done with Lockers, Decontamination, Hallway 3, Laboratories, and the Reactor Room, and maybe we can get done with also hallway at number four as well that would be the best <laughs> but let's go ahead and get started up on part two now if you have not seen part one i'll have a link to it in the description below and i'll also have the entire among us playlist in the description below as well so let's go ahead and get started up on this thing all right guys so here is the layout for the locker room i don't think we're really going to need it but here it is anyway but we're going to go ahead and get started up on the build right now so first thing as always we're going to go ahead and do the outline for our locker room using our gray concrete so we're going to come over here to the end of hallway number two I'm going to count over that away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 blocks away from the hallway. Then we're going to swing back down that way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now all we have to do is just connect those two corners together. So just swing your gray concrete blocks going down to this corner over here. And then all you have to do is just find the corner of where your diorite wall is right here and come down with your gray concrete over here as well, connecting them together. Now, if you want to, you are able to see outside over here. So you could, if you did the layout, if you built the layout, you can go ahead and just switch it to gray concrete on this side of the build because you will be able to see this side from launch pad. Next up, what we're going to do is take out the walling blocks for our locker room. Now, the blocks we're going to need for the walling of our locker room are quartz bricks. We're also going to need yellow concrete and gray concrete. So first off, let's go ahead and do the yellow concrete first. We're going to go right here to this corner of this wall right here and this one right over here. And we're just going to place up our five gray concrete. One, two, three, four, five. Same thing on this side. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're just going to come over six blocks from here. One, two, three, four, actually five, five blocks from there. And then bring it up like this and do the same thing on this side. Come out five blocks from here. One, two, three, four, five, and then go ahead and connect them together. Then we're going to take out our yellow concrete. And this is the only wall that's going to be yellow because this leads into decontamination. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Just place in our yellow concrete between our gray concrete. Now what we're going to do is take out our quartz bricks and we're going to come up four along the rest of our walling. So come up your four and then cap it off with your gray concrete. And there we go. There's all the wallings for our locker room. Now for the flooring, we're going to need white terracotta and light gray terracotta. So to start things off, just take out your white terracotta and fill in the entire floor of your locker room with your white terracotta. There we go. Next up, come back over here to the front of the contamination. And we're going to take out our gray concrete and our yellow concrete once again. Then right off of this corner, we're going to come out to gray concrete. Then we're going to come up to on an angle. Come out five. One, two, three, four, five. Go back up on an angle. And two back into the wall. Then replace all of these blocks right here with yellow concrete. And then we'll worry about the rest of this floor later on. Because right now we have to make that checkerboard pattern for this entire floor. So next up, we're going to take out some light gray concrete. I'm going to swing back over here to this corner. Take out your light gray concrete and count over four blocks from the corner. One, two, three, four. Place one in. Skip over four again from the white. One, two, three, four. Place it in. And then you should have a total of four right here. So if we come down this way and come in right off this wall, we should be able to place one right here. Count over four again from the white. One, two, three, four. Place one in. Count over again. One, two, three, four. Place one here. One, two, three, four. Place one here. One, two, three. And yet again, four on this side. And now we're going to come over here to this long side of the wall. Now, this one's going to be a little bit different from these ones. We're going to count in three from the corner. So one, two, three three and place one in. We're not going to count in four. Now we're going to start counting in four going that way. So, you know, one, two, three, four, same thing again. And we're just going to do the rest of this wall. 
Now, just like Launchpad, we're gonna go ahead and make an entire line from our light gray going all the way down on all sides. Next up, we're going to take out some pillared quartz blocks and come over here to uh, decontamination. We're going to place a pillar of quartz block right off the side of our gray right here. So the line should be facing that way. Then we're going to face one away from it and then face one this way. Again, the lines sh should never match with each other when they're touching. So it should look something like that. And we're going to do that around this entire thing. So right here, we're going to place one going this way, one going this way, this way. Just make sure they are not facing each other. Then we're going to do another one here, another one here, skip down a block, place another one right here. And you know what? These ones won't be touch each other, so we can place another one like that. Then this way and that way. Just make sure they are never facing the same direction as each other. Can't stress that enough because <laughs> then it won't come out the way it's supposed to look. There we go. And I believe there's two right here as well like that. So right now we're looking at something like this. Then we're going to come back down over here and we're one away from this one. So we can go this way as well. And like this, this, that, and then there should be two more over here. So we're just going to go straight here, sideways and straight. So it should look something like this. I know it looks a little weird, but that's just the way I used the pillar quartz blocks for the floor. Now that's a majority of the floor done. There's a couple of other little things, but let's go ahead and get started up on the decorations. Now the items you'll need for the decorations inside the locker room are going to be a purple stairs, purple slabs, oak doors, bookshelves, spruce wood planks, spruce wood slabs, pillow quartz blocks, gray concrete, and item frames. So first off, we're gonna come over here to this corner that's near our hallway. And we're gonna place in two bookshelves right in this corner. Skip one, place two more, skip one, place two more, skip one, place two more. Then we're gonna take out some spruce wood planks and place spruce wood planks between all of our bookshelves. Then right above it, we're gonna place in some slabs. And then right next to them, we're gonna take out our purple stairs, place one upside down, place in two, and then place another one in upside down right here. Then in front of all of our bookshelves, we're gonna place in oak doors backwards on our bookshelves. Then starting between these two locker rooms right here, we're gonna count out one, two, three, four, and then right here off this block, we're going to need an upside down staircase like that, place in one slab, and then yet again, another upside down staircase right here. Now, right between from this block to this block right here, we're gonna remove all of this. So it should be right between these two lockers and these two lockers. We're going to take out our pillar of a quartz box, and just like we did over in decontamination, we're gonna place them opposite of each other. They should never face the same direction. Like that, there we go. Next up, we're gonna swing over here to the left-hand side, take out your bookshelves once again. And then right here to the left of this gray block, we're gonna place in two bookshelves. Skip one, place in two, skip one, place in two, skip one, place in two. Place your spruce wood planks right between them all. Place your slabs right above it all. Take out your oak doors and place them in backwards off the bookshelves. And then right here to the left-hand side of it, we're just gonna place in a staircase upside down here and one off the corner with slabs in front of it. And then do the same thing we did with these pillar quartz right here. From the middle of this locker, come out one. From the middle of this locker, come out one and break all of these blocks. Take out your pillar quartz and make sure you face them in different directions from every single one of them. Just like that. There we go. And you know what? I just noticed I never made the entrance to this thing. So the entrance to the locker room is actually really easy. It's just right off of our communications right here. So all we have to do is just follow where communications is and break out this wall right here. And then go ahead and fill in the sides with your gray concrete. Just like that. And that's going to be the entrance to the locker room. Next up right over here. We're gonna count in five blocks from this corner. So one, two, three, four, five. Take out your bookshelves once again. 
and place in two, skip one, two, skip one, two, skip one, two. In the middle of them, place in your spruce wood planks, place in your slabs right above them, and then go ahead and take out your doors and place in your doors backwards off all your bookshelves. And then once again, right in between these two, break this block, right in between these two, break this block and break them all out. Take out your pillow quartz and face them in different directions. There we go. And then to the right-hand side of this one, we're gonna place in a purple staircase upside down here. A purple staircase upside down here with slabs connecting them together. And then last but not least, we're going to need to take out some orange concrete and we're also going to need birch trap doors. So come over here to this back square and right in the middle, we're gonna break the block and place in our trap door. This will be for our vents later on. Bye. <laughs> and then right here off of the yellow, we're gonna place in a line of orange concrete like this. Two going up to the left, two going up to the right, and then three more going to the middle from the right hand side. Then on the walls, we're gonna place one orange in this corner, in this corner. Then we're gonna skip over two and place a line going all the way down to the bottom and one up like this and do the same thing on this side. Skip over two, place a line in going all the way to the bottom and one down right here. And you know what? We're also going to need an item frame. I never put my item frame in. So take out an item frame and place an item frame right here off of this block like that. And that's going to be the locker room completely done. So next up, we're gonna be building a decontamination. This is one that I don't think really needs a layout overview. We're just gonna be going up that away, 24 blocks, I believe. I'm just gonna count it with you guys anyway. So right from here, we're just gonna go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yep, I was right. And then we're just gonna wrap it right down and connect it over there into the locker room with our gray concrete. Then we're gonna just take out our yellow concrete for our walling. I'm gonna place yellow concrete right up along the entire walling until right here, and then come up five blocks on our corners. One, two, three, four, five. And you know what? You can also go just connect it right here to the end, like that. And we can do the same thing on this side, just connect it all the way down to the end, right here. There we go. And then we're gonna fill in, come on, <laughs> fill in the entire walls with yellow concrete. There we go. Now on the floors, I want you to come out three yellow concrete on both sides. So one, two, three like that. And do the same thing on this side, just one, two, three. And then in the middle, we're gonna use black terracotta. So go ahead and fill in the entire flooring now. There we go. Next up, we're gonna take out some sea lanterns and starting right from the locker room, we're gonna place in a sea lantern here, here, here and here, kind of making like a T-shape or actually an O-shape. Then we're gonna skip over a block, so one, two, and do the same exact motion. Skip over a block, do it again. Skip over a block again. And just do that till you reach the end. And there we have it. Next up, we're going to take out some polished basalt, bath salt, Basalt. <laughs> we're going to need polished ba ba basalt, and we're also going to need light gray concrete. So starting from the corner where we are at locker right here, we're going to count from the yellow concrete up three blocks. One, two, three. And we're going to break this block and place in some light gray concrete. Next up, take out your polished basalt and place that in sideways. You should get those little lines right here. Do not face it straight up or this way. We want it sideways like that. Then we're just gonna interchange them until we reach the end and it should be three blocks from the other side as well. So just go all the way down interchanging them. And once we get to right here, it should be three blocks, one, two, three from the corner. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side, count in three blocks, one, two, three, like gray, and then go ahead and just interchange them. There we go. Next up, we're gonna take out some polished black stone brick stairs and some skeleton skulls. Now, right off of these corners, we're gonna place in two staircases backwards. 
And then next up, just... And then next up, just count over four blocks. One, two, three, four. Place in another one backwards right here. And same thing on this side. Count over four blocks. One, two, three, four. Boom. And now we're going to do the same exact thing we did here on this side. Right on the corner. Place your staircases in backwards. Count over four blocks. One, two, three, four. And same thing on this side. You know, one, two, three, four. And place it in. Then off the front of them, we're going to place in our skeleton skulls. You don't have to place these in. I just kind of wanted to make it look like the uh, fog machine or, well... The decontamination mister <laughs> so i just put skeleton skulls on the front hand sides of them so that's going to be the entire flooring Ooh, and you know what we can also put our birch trap door right here for our uh vent system for later on sorry couldn't think of it for a second next up we're going to need some orange concrete and we're going to make some designs for the walls now both sides are going to be exactly the same i kind of went crazy with it when i was doing it but i'll just try to make it exactly the same as i did last time so starting from right here we're going to come down a block next to where our locker room is and we're going to place in four blocks of orange. One, two, actually three. Three. It should match up perfectly with that staircase. And then just bring it straight down to the bottom. And then one up right here. And then from this light gray, we're going to come all the way up. Like this. And then we're going to bring a line starting from right here. All the way over to this gray block. That's right here. And then up above it, we're going to place in one. Then we're going to skip over a block once again. Placing in a line going all the way to the ceiling. There we go. And then we're going to bring a line over to this gray block, starting from the top. And then connect it into the ceiling. Then right here, we're going to come from this gray block right behind our mister. Or <laughs> our mister. <laughs> our decontamination thing or whatever this thing's supposed to be. And bring it straight up to the top. Then we're going to skip over a block once again, coming all the way to the top. And then just bring this over one block away from your gray and place one more block right down here and that's going to be the entire wall now it kind of looks like it's spelling something too because <laughs> that kind of looks like an e right there and this looks like a p a j maybe <laughs> and now basically what we're going to do is just redo the same exact pattern we did here but on this side so one from the top come over three and i don't really think i need to say it again but if all you have to do is basically just look over here and redo the same exact thing And there we have it. So that's going to be all of decontamination done, except for the flooring on the other side. But we'll do that when we get into the next hallway. So next up is going to be hallway number three from our decontamination. Again, doesn't really need a layout. We just need to count up over here and connect both sides together. So right off of decontamination, we're just going to take out our gray concrete once again and just count over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then go ahead and just connect both sides together into decontamination. And there is hallway number three. Next up, we're going to take out some brown concrete and brown terracotta. And we're going to fill in our entire floor with our brown concrete first. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, let's go ahead and just do the same exact thing we did over here for our flooring for decontamination because I don't feel like having to, you know, break everything out again. <laughs> That'd be kind of dumb. So what we're going to basically do is right here, we're going to place in two lines of yellow concrete. One, two. Then we're just going to come up a block, placing in more yellow concrete, come out one block with our gray concrete, up again, placing in our yellow concrete, and then place in a line of your gray concrete right here. And now we're just going to do the same design we did over here, but on this side. So come up your two orange concrete blocks like that. And then we're going to swing a line going all the way down. Come in your two on this side as well. And you know what? Should I make it opposite of each other? I think last time I did it where it was exactly the same as both sides. So you know what? Let's make it opposite. Let's go ahead and just bring this going straight down to the middle like that, making both sides completely opposite of each other. Now let's go ahead and take out our brown concrete and fill in the rest of the area with our brown concrete. Next up, after you got your flooring in, we're going to take out our brown terracotta and right off the front of where our decontamination little area is, we're going to place in a line of brown terracotta going all the way down to this corner right here. Stop and then go all the way to the end of the hallway right there next up what i want you to do is from this corner we're going to count over four blocks one two three four and then place two and going into the wall right here 
and then count over four again one two three four and then come out this way on that side and then do the same thing right from here one two three four place two here one two three four place it going down this way and that's what the floor is going to look like inside of hallway number three next up i want you to take out some terracotta and brown concrete powder then right from here up in this corner one block away from the corner we're going to place in five terracotta blocks one two three four five place in five concrete powder then we're going to place in two lines of five terracotta brown concrete powder two lines of terracotta once again one two concrete powder and one more line of terracotta and then go ahead and put your concrete around it so actually i think i was only supposed to go up four there right yeah <laughs> sorry you're gonna have to break out this line right here i completely forgot we got to put the cap on it there we go so that's going to be the wall for the back hallway and then we're just going to come up a line of five here and now what i want you to do is come up another line of five of gray concrete right here and we're going to bring it all the way down there to the fifth block before the end so you know what let's just go to the end like this and it should be five blocks away from here so one two three four five and stop right there and bring it all the way up to the top next up, i want you to take out light blue stained glass and place light blue stained glass in the rest of this entire area and make sure you go all the way to the top don't cap it off with gray concrete here just like that now on this side of the wall we're going to count in six blocks from here one two three four five six come all the way to the top make sure it's leveled with there then i'm going to come back over here to decontamination we're going to come up another line right here with our gray concrete and now fill in the rest of this wall with your light blue stained glass all the way to the top do not cap it off with your gray concrete there we go now we just got to do a couple of decorations for in here so you know what? i'm right near launch pad so i'm just gonna swing over here we are going to need some where is it there it is <laughs> we're going to need some lime terracotta and we're also going to need some light blue terracotta and we are also going to need an item frame so i just went ahead and stole those real quick we're going to come back over here to the corner and we're going to place in four lime terracotta blocks another four and then right next to it place in a light blue terracotta then right in the middle we're going to place in an item frame right here and that's going to be actually we're not done with this hallway just yet we're also going to need yellow concrete and we're going to need black concrete and over here right off of this doorway we're actually going to remove this gray concrete and we're going to place in yellow black yellow black and yellow right here just like that now that's going to be hallway three completely done next up let's go ahead and build laboratories and i'm sorry i keep skipping the layouts but compared to scaled the layouts for these rooms are super super easy they're just squares and rectangles so i've kind of been just like you know <laughs> skipping past them but we're gonna go ahead and do laboratories first it should start off right off the wall of our decontamination so you know right here off this wall is where it's going to start so we're just gonna go that away one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen 18 blocks out and now you don't need to count the rest all you have to do is just swing it this way and connect it right into the hallway that's right over there at hallway number three next up what we're going to do is do uh, the walling for the laboratories now the entire walling for the laboratories is going to be light blue terracotta and then we're going to cap it off with our gray concrete so you know, just come up your four light blue terracotta and then cap it off with the gray concrete Now that the walling is done, we're going to get to the hardest part of laboratories, and that is the very, very weird floor that kind of looks like staircases. In my, in my opinion, the entire floor looks like staircases. So for the flooring, you're going to need a light gray concrete, and we're also going to need some white concrete. Now, right off the back where our hallway is, we're going to take out our light gray concrete and fill in all the way to the end of this wall. And then we're going to take it going all the way down to the end over there. And same thing on this side. We're going to bring it all the way down to the end. So next up, we're just going to swing back over here. And just like locker rooms and launch pad, we're going to do that one, two, three, four, and placing placing in a block. So one, two, three, four, block. One, two, three, four, block. 
And if you've done Launchpad and Locker Room, which I hope you did if you're following along with this video, it's the exact same thing. So one, two, three, four, block, all the way down to this end. Then what we're gonna do is, again, once, one more time, <laughs> we're gonna bring this going all the way down. I'm pretty sure, no, no, I think the cafeteria might be the exact same thing too with the, uh, <laughs> one, two, three, four. There's a lot of these. So I think the cafeteria might be the last one that has these, uh, the three by three squares for the flooring. So, which is actually gonna be probably the biggest room as well for that flooring. But let's go ahead and just fill this all in now. So right now we should be looking at something like this. Now, the reason why I want you to build it this way is because now we could put in our white concrete staircases. Now, I know they're not staircases, but when you look at it, trust me, it's gonna look like a staircase. So we're gonna come over one, two, three, one, two, one in the middle, and then just place in light gray concrete for the rest. And as you can see, kind of looks like a staircase. <laughs> and we're gonna do that for every single one of these circles. So, you know, one, two, three, one, two, one in the middle, and then place in your gray concrete. So now that we got the flooring out of place, we can get started up on the decorations. Now the decorations in laboratories is actually one of the harder ones to do, but it definitely has a lot of stuff in it. So I'm gonna come over here to the opening from hallway number three. I'm gonna count over four blocks from our light gray. So one, two, three, four. And we're gonna take out some white terracotta. Oh, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and just tell you what we're gonna need for this walling in particular. We're gonna need white terracotta, smooth stones, polished diorite slabs, light blue stained glass, crimson buttons, light blue carpet, bookshelves, light gray carpet, stone brick walls, and a couple of other things for just this wall alone. So we're gonna come up one, two, three with our white terracotta and do it one more time, one, two, three, and then place in two polished diorite slabs above it. Then off of the backhand side, we're gonna come out five more blocks of white terracotta, one, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna come out four smooth stone right here, one, two, three, four, and then do the same thing we did here on this side, come up three with our slabs on top of it. Then right above it, we're gonna place in a line of blue glass. Well, blue, light blue stained glass, sorry. And then right behind this wall, we're gonna break it out and place in light blue stained glass back here as well. Then up in this corner, we're gonna place in a light blue carpet and then two crimson buttons in front of it. Next up, we're gonna skip over two blocks from here and build the same exact thing pretty much except for a couple of things. So we're just gonna do pretty much the same exact thing here. Come up your three blocks. Place in your slabs, come over your five in the back, one, two, three, four, five, come up your three, three here, smooth stone at the front, break out the back, place in your glass, just like that. And now this is where it's going to get a little bit different. Up here, we're just going to place in two glass, two smooth stone, and then fill around the entire thing with your diorite slabs. Then right here off of this blue block, we're gonna break it and place in some smooth stone. Next up, take out your walls, your stone walls, come up two and bring it right over to here. Then down here in front of this glass, we're gonna place in two bookshelves, two light gray carpet on top of those bookshelves. Now the next part of decorations we are going to need for this walling are going to be item frames, skeleton skulls, red concrete, and a birch sign. So over in this corner, we're gonna place in a red concrete block right here, birch sign, and place in a skeleton skull backwards like that. And that's going to be a fire extinguisher. Then right here on top of this table, we're gonna to have to place in a skeleton skull backwards right in that corner. And then right here in front of this bookshelf, we're gonna place in an item frame. And that's gonna be that entire wall completely done. And then, you know what? Let's go ahead and take out a birch trap door for our, uh, uh, come on, <laughs> for our vent right over here. So right off of this corner of this white block or three blocks out from here, we're gonna place in our birch trap door and that's going to be for our vent later on once we're done with the entire thing. Now for this wall, for our next set of decorations, we're going to need white terracotta, smooth stone, levers, cauldrons, skeleton skulls, chests, light blue concrete, green concrete, wither skeleton skulls, and a bunch of other stuff. 
Next up, we're going to come over here to where our birch trap door is. And we're just going to count over two, well, three blocks from here. So one, two, three. Take out your white terracotta and place in a line of white terracotta going all the way down to right here. Like that. And then we're going to make it three wide and bring it back over to the wall. There we go. Then from here, we're going to come out five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Making it three wide. And that's going to be one of our tables. Then up here, we're going to break out this block, placing in a cauldron. Place a smooth stone next to it with a lever facing down into the cauldron. Then right behind it, we're going to place in a skeleton skull backwards. Like that. Then over here in this corner, we're going to count over three blocks. One, two, three. Placing in a chest right here. Light blue concrete there. And then a green concrete next to that. Then right in the middle of these two, we're going to place in a skeleton skull backward. Well, a wither skeleton skull backwards right between those two blocks. Then over here on this side, we're going to count in one block and place another wither skeleton skull backwards right here. Then one block up from it, we're going to place in a light blue concrete block. Now we're going to need to make some room from other stuff. So next up, we're going to need some birch trap doors and place a birch trap door off the back of this blue concrete block. Take out an item frame. Place an item frame right here next to it. Next up, we're going to need paper and warped buttons. Place a piece of paper inside of this item frame. Make sure it's turned towards you like this. And then place a warped button right next to this smooth stone. And that's going to be that table completely done. Next up, right next to our table, we're going to take out some brown concrete, skeleton skulls, birch signs, and red concrete. And right next to it, we're going to place in a 2x2 two two of brown concrete. And then right back here, we're going to place in yet again another fire extinguisher with our red concrete block, backwards skeleton skull, and two birch signs going around it. And that's going to be that entire wall completely done. Next up is going to be the back wall of our laboratory. So the items we're going to need to decorate the back wall are going to be spruce doors, bookshelves, brown concrete, spruce trap doors, white terracotta, item frames, wither skeleton skulls, light blue concrete, chests, and a couple of other things, but we do not have room for it right now. So right off the back corner, we're going to count over three blocks. One, two, three, come up three brown concrete, and then come over three, and then down two. Placing bookshelves in the middle. Take out your spruce doors and place in two spruce doors. Make sure they are both facing the correct way like that. There we go. Next up, we're going to count over three blocks from here. One, two, three. Take out your bookshelves and place in two bookshelves here, here with brown concrete on top. Take out your spruce trap doors and place three spruce trap doors along the sides of them. There we go. And then place in your spruce doors in front of the bookshelves. Then we're going to count over three once again. One, two, three. Placing in our brown concrete like we did over there. Placing your two bookshelves. And then placing your doors backwards. And that's going to be the back wall. Done. And now we're going to make that little table that's going to be right in front of it. So to make the table, just take out your white terracotta. And we're going to come out four blocks from the corner of this table right here. One, two, three, four. Place it in. And then we're going to bring this down. One, two, three, four, five, six seven blocks it should be three away from your glass blocks over here making it three wide then off of this corner facing towards our doorway over there we're going to place in a light blue concrete block and on this corner we're going to place in a chest next up we're going to need some birch trap doors and off the backhand side of this light blue concrete block we're going to place in a birch trap door next up take out a wither skeleton skull face it backwards looking that away towards this bookshelf right here. Next up, we're going to take out our item frames. I'm going to come all the way back over here, count in one block from here, one, and place in four item frames. Now for this next part, we're going to need mine carts, rails, and portals, and white terracotta. Now, if you're trying to do this on a survival for your survival world, obviously don't use an end portal. You can use an enchantment table. And if you don't want to waste enchantment tables, you can just use a slab or chest. It really, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> this is just to make it look aesthetically pleasing. So right here in front of these three item frames, we're going to break out this block here, here, and skip one and break out that one, placing our end portal frames or pretty much whatever you really want down here, as long as it makes it so the chest, the uh, mine cards can't move. Then right here, we're going to place in a block, a rail, a mine cart, break it, let it fall into place. Same thing right here. Right above the end portal frame. Minecart, break it, let it fall into place. It doesn't really matter which way they're facing too. If it's facing the other way, don't worry. These are just here so like with the minigame, you put the items in the right, you know, bin. <laughs> so it looks good. 
So just, it doesn't really matter. It really doesn't. There we go. Unless you're trying to make this a fully working map, then you might have to do something else. But that's just the bins where you put like the uh, items inside of. And that will be laboratories completely done. All right, guys, next up on the list is going to be the reactor room. We don't need a layout because it's the exact same size. Well, the same length as laboratory. It goes up a little bit more in the back, but it should be 18 blocks long to the left right off the side of where decontamination is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Next up, I want you to come over here to this side and we're gonna come out three blocks going away from our hallway. So one, two, three, and then we're gonna connect both sides together. So just bring it out, look for the other side over here, and then bring it over and connect them together. Now, the walling in this entire room is going to be the easiest walling of the whole game because it is going to be gray concrete. So just fill up around this entire thing with gray concrete. There we go. Next up, we're going to come over here to uh, the beginning area. And now this is the way the flooring is going to start. And it's a little bit different from uh, the other flooring. So right here where the opening is to get inside of this room, we're going to take out our cyan terracotta and our light gray. And what I want you to do is fill in one, two, three spots with light gray. And then we're going to come in one and fill in all the way down to the end with light gray. And then at the end cap over here, we're going to place in three as well. One, two, three. So it should look something like this right now. Next, up, I want you to take out your polished blackstone slabs. I'm going to place in three polished blackstone slabs here. One, two, three. Come down one, over one, and place in polished blackstone slabs going all the way down. Up one, over one, and fill this all in. Now I want you to take out your cyan terracotta and fill in the rest of the floor right here, one block up inside your reactor room and it should be leveled with this glass once you have your floor in come to the backhand side i'm going to take out our cyan terracotta once again and we're going to make a four by two spacing with cyan terracotta at the left hand side swing to the right hand side and do the exact same thing make a four by two spacing with your cyan terracotta next up we're going to take out some light gray concrete and we're going to come up three blocks one two three on both sides and fill in this whole area with light gray concrete then at the end caps we're going to place in a blackstone slab blackstone slab next up come up two light gray concrete filling it all in place your slabs at the end corners Come up one light gray concrete. Slabs. Come up one, one more time. And three slabs. So it looks something like this. Then coming off the corner of this cyan terracotta, we're going to take out our black terracotta. I'm going to come out five blocks from here. So one, two, three, four, five. Same thing on this side. Come out five from this corner. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to come up two on the side. One, two. Same thing on this side, one, two, and then connect them together. Next up, bring another line right from this corner going all the way down to the wall. Same thing over here from this corner, go all the way down to the wall. And then from here, count over four blocks, one, two, three, four, placing another two right here. So you should only have three in this corner and do the same thing on this side, just one, two. And there should only be three in this corner. Next up, we're going to take out our gray concrete and our light gray concrete. And starting from here, we're going to place in two gray concrete, then two light, then two dark, then two light. And then, you know, two dark will go here, then two light will go here, and two dark will go here. And same thing on this side, just place the dark here, two light gray concrete there. Just like that. And then we're going to fill in the entire middle the same exact way. Just follow the sides. 
Next up, we're going to take out our black and yellow concrete. And starting from this corner right here, we're going to come out seven blocks in a checkerboard pattern. So starting with our black concrete, place a black concrete here, then yellow. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then make sure to make it too wide. So come right next to it and make your checkerboard pattern once again. Then we're going to come over here and we're going to bring it into the wall. Just like that. And now we're going to do the same thing on this side. Right from here, we're going to come down seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make it too wide. And then bring it into the wall right here. And then right here in the middle, connect both sides together. Just like that. Then down here on this floor, we're going to need our black and yellow concrete and cyan terracotta once again. So we're going to come right here. And next to this line, we're going to place in yellow, black, yellow, black. Then we're going to take out our cyan terracotta, come one over, placing in a line going all the way down to the wall. And then one up next to this yellow one. Skip over two, place in another three. Place two in the middle, place in another three. Skip over three. One, two, three, make another H. And there we go. That's going to be the entire floor for reactor. So to get things started off with the decorations, let's go ahead and build that giant orb that is in the middle of reactor. So I'm going to come right over here and off the light gray that is second away from the wall. So there should be one and then two right in the middle. We're going to come up three blocks. One, two. And on the third block, we're going to place in a sea lantern. We can go ahead and remove these two. And then we're going to come up two more sea lanterns. And then come one out on each side. Then we're going to take out some yellow stained glass and white stained glass. And we're going to place yellow stained glass on every single corner of our sea lantern. Just like that. And make sure you do not place any on the outside ones. Next up, we're going to take out our white stained glass. I'm going to make a 3x3 three three above every single part of our sea lantern. And we're going to do that on every single side. Make a 3x3 three three of white stained glass on every single side. And that will make our big orb thing that's in the middle of reactor. Then right here off the front hand side of our reactor, we are going to take out some polished and side stairs and smooth stone. And right here in the middle where we could see that lime. <clears throat> then right here in the middle where we can see that sea lantern, we're going to place in an upside down polished and side stair. And we're going to come up to smooth stone. One, two. Then we're going to place a staircase in. Place in one upside down right behind it. Place in yet again another staircase right here. And come over four smooth stone to the back. One, two, three, four. Place in a staircase off of that. And one upside down on the wall. And that'll be the first claw looking thing that is holding our orb. Then on the side, we're going to come right here to the middle once again. Placing in our polished and side stair. Then we're going to place in one smooth stone. A staircase sideways right here. Facing towards the wall. Two smooth stone. One, two. Staircase. And one going into the wall right here. I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite hand side. Right in the middle where the sea lantern is. Staircase upside down. One smooth stone. One facing away towards the wall. Two smooth stone. One facing backwards. And then one upside down going into the wall. And that's going to be the reactor done. Now for the next part of our decorations, we are going to need polished black stone buttons, light gray concrete, smooth stone slabs, item frames, smooth stone, levers, stone stairs, paintings, and stone and now we're going to come up here to the side of our reactor where this four by two is and we're going to place in two sets of slabs then we're going to place in a light gray concrete block here a smooth stone block here and then two slabs on top then we're going to place a polished black stone button here and an item frame we're going to do the same thing on this side so place in your two slabs then we're going to place in our gray smooth stone two slabs Item frame, black stone button. 
Next up, we're going to take out our stone stairs and our stone. So I'm going to keep those right next to each other, actually. There we go. So to start things off with our stone stairs and our stone, we're going to come over here to where our checkerboard pattern is. I'm going to come out three pieces of stone off this glass. One, two, three. Then off the middle one, we're going to place a staircase facing towards our glass. Then we're going to come up two more pieces of stone. One, two, and another staircase like that. And we're going to be doing this about, I don't know, seven times. <laughs> so just giving you a heads up there. We're going to be doing this about seven times. So next up, we're going to come out two blocks from this checkerboard pattern. One, two. And again, again, same thing. One, two, three. Then we're going to come up to the top. Staircase here and staircase here. And then we're going to come out once again, four blocks from here. One, two, three, four, three stone. Come up to here, staircase, staircase. And now we're going to do the same thing we did here on this side. So to start things off, if you want to, well, you just go right off the side of the checkerboard pattern, right off the side of the checkerboard pattern. It should match up with that side over there. So one, two, three, come up to the wall, staircase, staircase, skip over th four blocks. One, two, three, come up to the wall. Staircase, staircase, one, two, three, four, two, three, staircase here, come up to the wall, just like that. And then we're going to have one more over here that's one block out from this wall. We're going to come out three, one, two, three. Then we're going to come all the way up to here. Staircase, staircase, just like that. And that's going to be all those little pillars that are inside a reactor. Next up, we're going to build a couple of computers. So right here at the front hand side. We're going to place in one, two, three, four, five blocks of light gray concrete. Come out one more. And then come up one in the back. Then we're going to take out some light gray carpet and fill that in right above it. Now off of the backhand side, we're going to take out paintings. And we want this one by two painting. Get the same exact painting right next to it. Over here. There we go. And then we want that. Oh, wow. I got very lucky. <laughs> the black and white one by one right in the middle. Then off to the left hand side, we're going to place in an item frame. A lever. Then we're going to place in any button. Really doesn't matter. But I like using stone or polished black stone. Item frames. And another button. And then off of this item frame right here. We're going to place in some iron bars and make sure it's turned that way for some computer keyboards. And now we're going to build pretty much almost the same thing here in both of these little nooks. So we're gonna take out our light gray concrete, come out one, two, and then come up one, same thing here. One, two, come up one, take out your carpet, place it right above it. Then we're gonna go off the backhand side and we're gonna get that one by two that is black and white. There we go. And then we're gonna get that one by one that is black and white. There we go. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side, except we're going to do it the opposite way. So over here is gonna be the one by two. Very lucky that time. This one took me about three minutes. And then that one by one. There we go. Then off of this side, we're gonna place an item frame. We're gonna place it in a lever sideways, flip it towards the item frame, place in your iron bars, make sure they're turned to the side with your button off of this block and do the same exact thing on this one. Item frame, iron bars, flip to the side. Place in your lever sideways, flip it towards the item frame, and then place in your button. And that's going to be the computers there. Then we're going to take out our light gray concrete once again and come right here and place in three blocks of it. One, two, three, with an item frame right off of it like that. Next up, we're going to come behind this little computer right here. And we're going to need a polished anside stairs and light gray concrete. Then right off of this black concrete block that's right here, we're going to place in a staircase facing that way. Come up two gray concrete blocks, one, two, and then place in yet again another staircase like that. And do the same thing on this side, right off the black concrete, polish and sight stair, two light gray, polish and sight, and there we go. And that's going to be the entire react. Oh, and our <laughs> we got to put the birch trap door over here off of this block. We're going to break it, place in our birch trap door, and that's going to be for the vent later on. Now, reactor room is completely. Done. So now that reactor is done, we're going to go ahead and do our next hallway. Now, this one I feel will definitely need some sort of layout. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a little top down view right here. This is probably the hardest hallway in the entire build just because it is on an angle. Now, the, for this room, for the walling and the flooring, we are going to need, of course, our gray concrete. We're going to need white terracotta, white concrete, light blue stained glass, and blue stained glass. So now what we're going to do is come right down here. And we're going to count up seven blocks from this hallway. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Then we're going to count over three blocks. One, two, three. And now we're going to come back to our hallway right here. And then going this way from the inside of our hallway that's right here, we're going to go up 15 blocks on an angle. So as you can see right here is what your hallway should look like. So right next to where this blue one is, one block over, we're going to place in our gray concrete. And we're going to go up 15 blocks on an angle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then we're going to go back this way. 14 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 blocks. And then right here, you know what? Uh, you know, I might leave this open for right here because this is going to be for cafeteria anyway. And I'd rather keep the layout for cafeteria instead of using it on the hallway. So, you know what? Let's come back over here. And we're going to go up that away on an angle now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen just like the last one and then we're gonna count up 13 blocks one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen then we're gonna swing that way six blocks one two three four five six and now just you know follow along right over there to the end of the hallway so it matches exactly with this one and then just go down that way 15 blocks 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 then we're gonna go three blocks up 1 2 3 and then we're gonna go that way six blocks 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then I'm just like I said I'm gonna leave this part open right here for the cafeteria and we'll worry about that later on. So to get started up with our flooring, first we're going to take out some white terracotta and white concrete. And now what I want you to do is fill in from this second line all the way down to here with white terracotta. Like that. And then I want you to take out your white concrete. And right from here, we're going to go down that way on an angle with white concrete. So come all the way down on an angle to the end with white concrete. And now fill in the rest right here with your white terracotta. Next up, I want you to take out your light blue stained glass. And we're going to fill in this entire area. You know, actually, let's fill in the side as well. We'll, we'll might as well just fill in this side as well. So we're just going to do the same exact thing. Take out our white terracotta. Filling in these two lines with our white terracotta. Take out your white concrete. And right from this corner, come down on an angle with your white concrete. go and now we're just going to fill in the rest with our white terracotta no not like that there we go and then over here dope <laughs> over here at the top we're actually going to remove this gray line and replace it with white concrete now we're going to take out our light blue stained glass and fill in this entire thing with light blue stained glass I want you to come to decide where our hallway is and we're going to go right off the middle white concrete block 12 blocks with our blue stained glass on an angle so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve then we're going to put two going this way and two going that way next up count over three blocks from each line so one two three two going this way Two going this way. Count over three again. One, two, three. Two going this way. Two going this way. Again. One, two, three. Two going this way. And two going this way. And it should look something like this. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Come to the middle white concrete block. Count up 12 blocks going that way. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Connect them to both sides. Then we're going to count over three blocks. Oop, I missed one. 1, 2, 3. Break these two. Place them in. 1, 2, 3. Break these two. Place them back in. Count over three. 1, 2, 3. Place them in. And there we go. 
Now we're gonna come up here to uh, the middle area. And right off of this middle block, we're gonna come up two, one, two. Break out this block, place a dark blue one. Come up two on both sides. And now we're gonna make a full line going right across, making a triangle. Then we're gonna swing up here to where our white concrete is. And we're gonna place in a full line of blue right here. Come down one in the middle, place in yet again another full line right here. Then we're gonna come down three blocks, one, two, three. Actually come down four blocks, four, placing in a full line. And then come down four once again, one, two, no, th yeah, three, four. <laughs> I keep messing myself up on this one for some reason. Yep, come down four again, and then place in a full line right here. And that's gonna be the entire floor for this hallway done. Now what we're gonna do is take out light blue terracotta and blue terracotta, and we're gonna fill in the entire walls and also our gray to cap it off and just make sure you skip out right here between this white terracotta and this white concrete so we're going to fill in the entire wall with our blue and light blue terracotta And there we have it. Once we have all our wallings in place, we're going to take out some diorite walls and soul lanterns. And wherever you see a dark blue stained glass, we're going to come up three blocks above it like this with a sea lantern on top of it. Wherever you see the dark blue touching the walls on the sides. So come up three blocks, place a diorite wall and a soul lantern. Three blocks up, diorite wall, soul lantern. Three blocks up, diorite wall, soul lantern. Same thing here. Three blocks up, Soul Lantern. And of course, on this one as well, wherever you see the dark blue touching the wall here, except for this one at the front. So make sure you come up your three blocks and place in your Soul Lantern. And there we have it. Now for one last thing for this room, uh, I believe there's something else over here actually too. But before we move on from this part, just so I don't forget, if you built this layout underneath like I have, make sure you break this. Cause like I said, you could see through the glass and you do not want to see the layout through the glass. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly break the layout around just the area with the glass. We are going to need this layout later on. If you did build the whole thing from the beginning, make sure you don't accidentally break it there. So right here, we're going to have a tree I believe, <laughs> a vent, and then a couple of colors that are going to be on the wall. So right over here in this corner, we're going to go ahead and place in our little makeshift tree. So we're going to place in a dirt block with bird trap doors around the entire thing. Place in a spruce fence and oak leaves. And then right behind this tree, there's a couple of coloring on the wall. We're going to need red concrete, yellow concrete, and cyan concrete. So starting from here, we're going to place in two red concrete blocks like this. And then right behind the tree, we're going to place in two yellow ones. And then down in this corner, we're going to place in some cyan. And then over here, I believe there's also... If I'm not mistake, mistaken, I might have to put it in later, but I'm pretty sure there's a vent right here. So for this next hallway, I don't think we really need a layout. I'll just count it out with you. It's just a very simple, small rectangle. So starting off right at the end where we ended our V-shaped hallway, we're going to count over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And we're going to stop right there. Now do not connect these two together. Just swing back over here and then follow right along that line that you just placed on that side. There we go. Next up, I want you to take out light gray concrete and we're gonna fill in this entire floor with light gray concrete. We're actually gonna be getting rid of a lot of this. So, <laughs> well, not a lot of it, but a pretty good amount because we're gonna be putting glass in the floor because this hooks up to greenhouse, which has that entire glass floor that's gonna be right up there, but we probably won't be able to tackle that until part three. So we're gonna just fill in this entire area with light gray. Now over here on this side, closest to laboratories, we're gonna count over six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take out your gray concrete and come up to the top where the cap is right here. And now we're gonna bring this going all the way down to this side, filling it in right here. And then we're gonna come out one extra on this side like that. And now fill this entire wall in with light gray 
terracotta. And you know, before I move on, right here should be gray concrete as well. I just noticed that. <laughs> Both these sides should be gray concrete right next to our line of white concrete. There we go. And now from where this wall ends right here, we're going to come to the other side. And from here, we're going to count over two blocks. So one, two, and then come up a line right here. So as you can see, it's just pretty much like one away from this one. And we're going to connect it right over to this side, fill in this entire wall with light gray terracotta. And now we're going to make the same width that we did here over here. So I'm going to count over six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come up our gray. Bring it right over. Come down. Place in light gray terracotta in the middle. And then fill up on this side with gray concrete. And now we're going to take out our glass and we're going to be breaking a couple blocks of our gray right down here. So we should come right here to the entrance of where admin is. I'm going to come over one, two blocks, making it three wide. It should start right there at the corner of where we go into admin. And we're going to bring this going all the way down to here. Stop right here at the end and place in glass along this whole entire area. One block before the end. And we'll worry about the layout later on when we're doing greenhouse. There we go. Next up, take out your gray concrete once again and bring a line of gray concrete coming down from this corner of the glass. Then we're going to come up one, place one here. Skip over four blocks. One, two, three, four. Place one here. Skip over four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Placing it in like that. And now in the middle of every single one of these, there should be a line going into this wall. So we're going to place one here because it's right in the middle of those right in the middle of here place going right into the wall same thing right here right in the middle one goes here right in the middle one goes there and then last but not least take out an item frame and place it right here off the back cam wall like that and that's going to be this hallway completely done so i'm going to go ahead and end part two there guys i hope i did not go over the time limit that i wanted but we got a pretty good amount done here so like always if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like subscribe and stay tuned with my newest videos and also stay tuned for part three all right guys peace